L.A. 5. Presented by Sweet James Accident Attorneys. Proud to represent L.A. Price pinch. Give it the hammer. Workload overload. Give it the hammer. When times get tough, the tough. Give it the hammer. Arm and hammer. More power to you. In the search for epic bargains, one grocery store will stop at nothing to make sure you save more on the brands you love. Starring produce and you as the super saver in Bargain Bliss. 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 Todd, we talked about this. Better deals are just so epic. I know, Todd. I know. Grocery outlet, bargain market. Visit Scandinavian Designs Furniture for modern contemporary styles and discover quality craftsmanship at a value you won't find anywhere else. Scandinavian Designs Furniture. We make it simple. You make it home. That's me before Dawn Power Wash. Now Power Wash gives me the power of an overnight soak in minutes with three cleaning boosters not found in traditional dish soaps that help break down, loosen, and lift away food and grease. So much faster. It's more than soap. It's Power Wash. Do you struggle with occasional nerve aches in your hands or feet? Try Nervive Nerve Relief from the world's number one nerve care company. Nervive contains ALA to relieve nerve aches and B-complex vitamins to fortify healthy nerves. Try Nervive and try Nervive Pain Relieving Roll-On. Breaking news, heated protests continue in North Hollywood where parents and demonstrators are clashing over a pride assembly at Satakoy Elementary School. The protests are contentious. We want to apologize in advance for any inappropriate language or signage that you may see or hear, but we f feel this is an important story to cover. KTLA's Eric Spillman has been reporting on the situation that began a couple of hours ago. Eric, good morning. Good morning, Frank and Alina. We're outside Satakoy Elementary School here in North Hollywood, and the standoff continues. Police having to separate the two groups of protesters here in the street where I'm standing are a group of parents and others who are opposed to a pride assembly that was planned here at the school for today. And on the sidewalk over there with the rainbow flags are people who support the idea of having a pride assembly here at this school. So it's been very tense. There have been arguments. There have been scuffles. Let's talk about what this is, a, is about, really. What the plan was, was to read from a particular book. It's about families, called The Great Book of Families, or Great Big Book of Families. I'm going to read a section of it here. Lots of children live with their mommy and daddy, but lots of others live with just their daddy or their mommy. Some live with their grandma and grandpa. Some children have two mommies or two daddies and some are adopted or fostered. That's just one of the pages from the book, but it's got some of these parents very angry because they don't think it's appropriate that it be discussed in the school. They don't think this is the right topic. Let's come on over here and talk to one of the parents involved in the protest. I just read a segment from the book. All it says is some children have two mommies or daddies. What's wrong with that? There's nothing wrong with that. The part that we have an issue with is with when the video assembly begins and we are sitting there and watching it, it began with there once upon a time was a nuclear family that consisted of a mommy, a daddy, a sister, and a dog. That's the problem that we have. The problem is, is you're letting the world know, you're letting our children know that a nuclear family was a fairy tale. And what is a fairy tale? It's make-believe, correct? So why are you telling my child that my family unit didn't exist, but you're validating another family unit? If you object, though, you can write a note and your kid doesn't have to attend. So we went to the principal, we went to, state, we went to John Rome. I personally spoke with all three of them. When I asked them for an exemption, they said, absolutely no, no way in hell. Your child comes to school, your child will be a part of the assembly. Two days later, I receive a call from Mr. Avery saying that they have been advised by their legal department that they that we can absolutely op opt out because the assembly is not a part of the curriculum. Some of your signs say stop grooming kids. Do you really think that that's what's going on here? Well, 
the problem is, is when you dedicate an entire month to one cause and you don't dedicate anything to anybody else, that's where we seem, it seems like there's an agenda and someone's pushing it. Why don't we have a month that celebrates uh, straight people? Why don't we have a whole month that celebrates my type of a family where there's a grandma and a grandpa that lives with us? So that's where we see the problem. The second part of the issue with the two mommy and the two daddy statement is that it opens up a can of worms that the teachers and the educators are not prepared to answer. If my five-year-old comes to the teacher and says, you're saying that there could be two daddies. Well, my mommy and my daddy had me and my mommy was pregnant with me. Which daddy was pregnant with the baby? How did the daddy have the baby? My mommy has a scar from her C-section. Does a daddy have a scar from the C-section? As an educator, when we, when we confronted them during the coffee with principal, nobody had an answer for us because they were not prepared. All right. Thank you so much. Fair enough. Thanks for sharing your opinion. Let's come on over here and get the other side. Excuse me, gentlemen. Um, there is a representative from the teachers' union. The teachers' union supports the assembly. This is Scott Mandel. He's the local representative for the teachers' union, UTLA. You're okay with this type of assembly, despite these parents who say they don't think it's appropriate.